Hello friends, I am Chevy. Welcome to my shed. How are you today? How's life in your world? How's things where you are? I hope everything is fan freaking tastic. Everything here is pretty great. Um, I'm still really exhausted from the weekend, so uh, I'm a little bit, I'm a little bit, you know, I don't want to say down, but I think you know what I mean. Like just in that kind of post, post, post stressful situation stress <laughs> like uh you know I, em and i are both homebodies right we both like to be at home we both like to spend time together we play video games we read books we watch tv we work on puzzles uh, we play board games and um, that's really about it and Every now and then we'll let somebody come over. Every now and then we'll go somewhere. But it's very infrequently. That's even before COVID, right? Even before this whole lockdown. We 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 just enjoy time together. And yes, you know, everybody needs time apart. So we do spend time apart. But we're not extremely social animals. So when I when I had people over this weekend, it was stressful, right? Because... I have, you know, my children here who I only get to see every other weekend and one night a week. Uh, and I want to spend quality time with them. I want to open gifts. I want to, you know, share the joy with them of all the things that they got for Christmas or solstice in this case. Um, but I also wanted to cook a good dinner and have my sister come over. She's never, she hasn't really been here since for years and years and years. And she wanted to connect with the girls. We we went to her house a couple of times this summer and swam and they talked and, you know, she wanted to connect with them. So I, I think I made the mistake of doing it all at once, right? I think for the future, whatever day we decide to celebrate solstice, the problem that I have with the solstice holiday is it's not a holiday, right? It's a day. It's usually the 21st or 22nd. Uh, which means that the girls don't have that day off of school, and I don't have that day off of work. So, you know, next year it falls on a Tuesday. We can't really celebrate solstice on a Tuesday because we have a bunch of other stuff we have to do. So, it's it's the you know our personal our and our celebration of solstice has fallen more to like the third Saturday in December, whatever that, or the third Sunday in December, whatever that is, is when we'll, when we will celebrate solstice. So it works. It's fine. It, you know, it is what it is, but, um, I think that next year what I'm going to do is we will still do our Sunday solstice, uh, but we will do the family stuff on the day before. Like I'll cook the dinner and have the, you know, the family over and they can do their thing. And then we will do the actual, you know, our solstice uh, stuff on Sunday. Because what happened was, um, I got my oldest, <laughs> my oldest wants to, she wants to game. She, um, she's been streaming on Twitch, um, Minecraft gameplay, and she actually has, like, a little following. She's got about 40-ish followers, and she has a Discord channel, and 10 of them, 10 of her regular followers are on there, and they chat all the time, and so she's been really having fun with that, but she's doing it all on this, like, you know, severely underpowered laptop that can barely run Minecraft by itself, let alone OBS and Discord and all that stuff, so she's been wanting a gaming PC, and um, her mom was going to get her a pre-built, but it was just, like, I... Bean, Bean didn't want that, I didn't want that, so Em and I went together, you know, she sat down at the computer, and we we built a PC for my kid, and um, so we got it all in pieces, and that's how I wrapped it, I wrapped all the pieces, and so as she opened it, it was more and more and more, so we wanted to build the computer, and we did that, but then people started, you know, then we had to kind of put it in her room, turn it on, start installing Windows, walk away, come back, you know, all that sort of stuff, we didn't really get a chance to to sit down with it and make sure everything was working perfectly because people started to show up and I had to finish cooking and make rolls and all that stuff. My, my monster, my youngest, um, she got a whole bunch of Harry Potter stuff because she's been really into Harry Potter lately and um, wanted to play, you know, we, we got 
I don't know, we got her a dozen or something wands, uh, the collectible wands. And so she wanted to play, you know, Ollivanders and, uh, you know, just just play, you know, with me. And, and we really couldn't. It was, it was a little too much for one day. And I really would have liked to have had the time to spend with both of them with all the stuff. The thing is, like, the thing that's kind of about that is usually the the relatives want to know, like, well, what did you get? And then so if we do it on the Saturday, they're, we're not going to have that, you know, the the kids showing off what they got. So I don't know. I don't know what we're going to do. Um, we're going to have to mix it up a little bit, but I'm going to definitely try to do the family stuff on a separate day because it's a little too much for one day. Um, you know, I can remember as a kid... As a kid, we did everything at my house. Um, we woke up, opened the presents, then my mom started cooking. She had already started the turkey, you know, so she started to cook. And then throughout the day, like, my aunt and uncle showed up, um, my grandma and grandpa showed up, my dad's mom showed up. So everybody came to my house. I didn't, it wasn't the go, go, go. With my kids, when they were little, we did a we did Christmas here, and then we immediately went to their grandma's house, and the cousins came. And I, when I say immediately, I mean like seven or eight in the morning. We were in the car, going to grandma's house um, for their Christmas there, and so I never got to experience the bouncing or you know a, a little bit with that. I, we opened stuff, went over there, but um, I like I'd like for it to be a little bit calmer of a day especially when you're getting a whole bunch of cool stuff that you want to play play with and, and mess with and you don't have the time because we got to hurry up and get everything ready for people to show up i was super busy so we'll see how it goes but uh yeah i'm exhausted i'm gonna go relax and um you know i got one more day of work tomorrow and then the governor gave us uh the whole day off for um, Christmas Eve, so I get a long weekend, and I'm going to enjoy some time with him and her family. So thank you for being here as always. Thank you for liking, commenting, subscribing, being amazing friends and wonderful people. I really appreciate you, and I'll see you again tomorrow. Today's word you should know to sound smart is douceur. It is a noun meaning a bribe or a conciliatory gift. After Francine's father refused to buy her another polo pony, he offered her the douceur of a weekend at an exclusive spa. Doucer. D-O-U-C-E-U-R. That word is ridiculous. A doucer. Like, that's a rich person word, right? I don't think normal people have words like doucer in their lexicon. Daddy, you owe me a doucer. <laughs>